My name is Agatha Yazi Spencer. I'm Twitzhotni, and my fathers are Kia'ani. My maternal grandparents are Tsifatni, and my paternal clan is Tsenjikin. <laughs> Agatha discusses what it was like to grow up on the reservation and her commitment to balancing both Christianity and Navajo traditions. My grandfather was an early interpreter for the Franciscan friars, and so we grew up with Christianity. But on the other hand, my grandmother was very traditional, and my mother was too, and so was my father. So they always blended the two. Christianity and cultural practices. What changed a lot for me was when I went to a parochial school and then the indoctrination of Christianity was really, really pressed on, upon us and at that time I think the Catholicism really still w did not appreciate our cultural practices and beliefs and uh, it was only until later that a lot of um, recognition of what we have as beliefs, our cultural practices, really kind of um, blend in with um, Christianity, especially Catholicism. So it just made us appreciate more of, um, of my faith and then my cultural upbringing. So I don't separate the two. It's a blending for me. I work for the Navajo Nation, I work for the uh, Neighborhood Youth Corps program, and also the Bureau of Indian Affairs and with the college. I was working with um, high school students um, where they work part-time jobs after school um, from the low-income youth, and we would find work uh, sites for them within the community. and placed them in different sites throughout the um, community of Chinle. The beginning of the college, uh, it, was, it was really exciting. It was a new venture, and everyone um, worked um, collectively. There was a lot of teamwork. The Navajo Community College was the granddaddy of the Tribal Colleges Initiative, and so, you know, they, we just did a whole lot of stuff. and. Um, we had a lot of elders that participated and, you know, were a part of the planning and they gave a lot of um, advice to the whole um, development of the college. And we had a lot of elders that also taught um, for us craft classes, um, rug weaving, moccasin making, silversmithing, um, Navajo traditional foods. and. Yeah, yeah, it was really exciting. And then one of the one of the things that that happened too that initial year that was really, really gave thrust to the whole impetus of everyone really collectively working together was um, the late Dr. Ned Hatali. He was the first Navajo president. the The foundation of the College of Saanagaybikehajon, which is our guiding principle, our mission has never changed in that um, the college is there to ensure that every individual coming through the portals of the college gains some knowledge of the language, the history, and the culture. Everything you do has to be in balance. I'm the forever optimist, you know, always, you know, trying to encourage. Things may be falling apart, but I always say, It'll all work out. It'll all work out. <laughs>